Hi, so um, I wanted to do something to help people with really frizzy dry hair because I know it really um, aggravates people in the winter, it becomes extra annoying. And because I'd done a column on fine hair and static, I wanted to do something um, to help those who, who didn't suffer from those sorts of things but suffered from real dryness and um, brittle hair that looks kind of really dull in the winter. And I started out by calling in lots of um, different products. And actually, the more I tested them, the more I realized that really the secret is a deep conditioner. Now, deep conditioners um, have been around for a really long time, certainly since I was little and first became interested in this sort of stuff. And I don't know about you, but I tend to just zoom past them in the eyelet boots. And then once a year, I think, oh, I better get a deep conditioner. That's what you do um, when your hair dries out a bit. And you kind of buy it, use it once or twice, and then you just think, oh, I can't be asked. They take so long to um, rinse out. And often I found the results just really made my hair lank and dragged it down. Um, but I thought, actually, as I was testing them, that they have really come on a lot. And I think I found some really good ones. Um, I can't demonstrate them for you because we can't film in the shower. And obviously, this is where you use a deep conditioner. Um, but the basic method for most of them is you shampoo your hair, you dry it off a bit so you can really get the product to penetrate, dry it off a bit with um, a towel, and then um, you take the deep conditioner and you massage it into the ends of your hair. If you've got very, very dry and brittle hair, massage it in all over. For someone like me, definitely only the ends because if it goes into the roots, it really, really will flop. And it's a question of finding one, obviously, that's suitable for your hair type. Now, for people with um, fine hair, your options are limited. You really want one that's volumizing. I found this one by Ojean, which is amazing. Um, it's a hair mask that really um, makes your hair silky and soft and moisturized, but still adds loads of volume. It's absolutely brilliant. I was so impressed with it. Um, so if you've got hair like me, you want to go for something like that. However, I really wanted to focus on people with dry and brittle hair. And if that's your hair type, the choice is endless. There are so, so many, and I tested some brilliant ones. And the really good thing about deep conditioners is I think you can get away with quite a cheap one. And the reason I think you can do that is lots of cheaper conditioners contain things like silicon that really, really build up on the hair. But the joy of a deep conditioner is you're only using them probably once a week. So it doesn't really matter. You're never going to get bogged down with all those ingredients. Um, they're going to rinse out over the course of the week and you're not going to get, um, you know, your hair's not going to get clogged up with them. So really, I think you can you can get away with spending three or four pounds. I did test some really brilliant ones th that were much more expensive, and I'm not going to be dishonest and pretend they're not brilliant just because they're expensive. Um, Moroccan oil, tested by far the best. Um, some friends of mine, um, a friend of mine, Julia, who has very, very, very thick, beautiful, thick, kind of abundant hair, but very sort of dry and brittle, um, claims that Moroccan oil has completely changed the way um, her hair looks and she doesn't have any bad hair days anymore. So Mor Moroccan oil deep conditioner is completely fantastic. It's about 30 quid, but remember you're only using it once or twice a week, so it really does last a long time. And if your hair really, really annoys you, it's probably quite a good investment. There are lots of products in the Moroccan oil range, but that, that um, deep conditioner, the one I mentioned in the column, um, seem to be particularly effective but as I say there are just so many and you know you can really take your pick what I was saying before about um um, not having to spend lots of money. Pantene and L'Oreal LV are great examples of this. I found um, Pantene to be excellent. And you're talking, I think it's two ninety nine or thereabouts. They do lots of different types. There's one here for fine hair, one here for um, dry hair. And the technique's the same. Towel dried hair, massage it in. You can really kind of, you know, feel it between your fingers. The only place they sort of kind of vary is how long they recommend you keep it on. Some say um, five minutes, some say 15 minutes. So you'd maybe get into the bath, shampoo your hair straight away, put it on for the remainder of your bath, have a good soak, shave your legs and all that. And then by then it would have done its magic. And then there are some, like this one from Liberty, that you put on overnight. And I found when I was testing them that the main difference between the overnight ones and the 15 minute ones is the 15 minutes one, if ones, if they're left on too long, they can tend to kind of dry and crack and they become a bit of a nuisance. Whereas the overnight ones tend to be more oil based um, and feel lighter on the hair and don't kind of dry and crack. So that seems to be the main difference. Um, 
so if it's a sort of creamy, waxy sort of preparation, this Charles Worthington one, really good. But if it's got that sort of consistency, sort of like double, oh, it smells so nice, like double cream, generally those stay on for at the most 15 minutes. If it's more of an oil treatment, you can put it on before bed, put your hair in a shower cap or a towel, and it'll be fine in the morning. Um, and you just rinse it out in the shower. And what you're left with is no frizz, no static. Still pop on a little bit of serum when you um, dry your hair. Um, but you'll find that it's much, much, much more silky. Um, the other thing I would say, if you have very um, dry, brittle hair, is do not brush it. I mean, if this is your hair type, you may already have found this. If you brush um, frizzy, dry, brittle hair, it will really exacerbate the problem. What you want is a very wide tooth comb where um, the, um, what do you call, the teeth, the teeth of the comb um, are nice and far apart and they're smooth and you want a kind of plastic one or a wooden one, not a metal one because again that will just exacerbate the frizz and just comb it through with a wide tooth comb when it's wet so you don't have tangles and then either leave it to dry naturally or dry with a diffuser. Um, don't start brushing because then you've got real problems on your hands. I mean there are, there are lots of different ones. You can use ones with kind of essential oils like um, the Body Shop one. This hair butter is really nice and you can get them for coloured hair so you're keeping your colour nice and fresh or you can get them with things like um, avocado oil which makes your hair smell amazing. Get this um, this Fito overnight product was lovely I really like this. Pop that on before bed. You can they tend to smell so nice I don't know why they smell nicer than shampoo and conditioner but a, a load of them and or whether the formula carries scent better because it's thicker I don't know but these sorts of masks tend to leave your hair really really lovely and fragrant. And like I say, the coarser your hair, the more often you want to use it. But to be honest, the coarser and drier your hair, the less often you probably wash it. So you could probably get away with using it um, twice a week, perhaps. And if you have fine hair, maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks. Don't be fooled, though. Um, as much as I think these masks are lovely and do wonders for the appearance and the feel of your hair, don't be fooled by ones that promise to repair your hair and repair split ends. I mean, this is just nonsense. What they can do is temporarily seal the hair shaft so your hair appears more silky, your split ends close up and everything's a bit sort of laminated and shiny. And that's brilliant, that's absolutely brilliant and that's reason enough to buy a product. But it will not permanently repair split ends. The only way to get rid of split ends is to cut them off. Nothing will repair them. Um, hair is dead. Um, and, you know, like the top layers of skin, which are dead, you can't start altering the structure of something that's just sort of hanging there. It's not, um, it's not a living organism. So the only way to improve the condition is to snip the ends off. I could do with a trim myself. Um, and again, budget, you can really spend up to £30 on a mask and they will be more luxurious. And if you're somebody just giving yourself a treat once in a while and you like an expensive body cream or, you know, you, you like those kind of very pampering products or a nice bath oil, by all means go mad and spend a fortune. But Trevor Sorby, Tested Great, Charles Worthington, L'Oreal Alviv, I mean, look at that, that's absolutely massive and it's about three quid. Um, they do a really good range for thinning grey hair as well. And I found that was great. It really kind of bulked up um, thinning hair and gave it a nice tone. Um, so you really don't need to go mad on this one and you can also even buy them in sachets so if you go to Boots you can generally buy a deep conditioner for like 99p in a sachet and if you like it and feel it improves your hair then um, go ahead and buy the full size tub um, and see how you get on there. Anyway, um, I hope you find one for you in the column and um, next time you go to Boots you don't just stroll past them, they can actually be really really beneficial and really kind of transform a bad hair day and make it better. So um, let me know what your favourites are and let me know how you get on in the comments section. Thanks a lot, bye.